Art Centre is 85 years old. It's a College of Art and Design and has programs at the graduate and undergraduate level in industrial design, product design, graphics, media, environmental, film, as well as interaction design. We're always looking into how to use new emerging technologies to translate creative development. Virtual reality is definitely one of those things that we want to see. Students actually created their own kind of virtual reality work group in the spring of 2016. So we launched a class ahead of time with the help of the students and the students helped co-create the curriculum. The name of the class is VR and New Lens and the focus is really to have an opportunity to explore creating in a VR space. We want to do a looser end of a studio space to allow them to explore and discover a different aspect of creative thinking in consideration for VR that we haven't seen. It's very interesting to try and develop curriculum in a field that's just emerging. How do you teach what isn't really defined? So the class has been much more of a collaborative laboratory. The experience that we've created is called drifting, and it's essentially a very loose metaphor for a first-person look on dealing with drug addiction. It gives the illusion that the world is altering for you or against you as you move through it, depending on which way you go. We went into the idea of education, and while our first goal was to do something with a manipulative environment where you could do terraform, make something that wasn't livable, livable, we went down to really a vignette of a type of interaction to manipulate your environment. Hello, welcome to my experience. I'm really interested in making like sort of a surreal, abstract humor. It's a number of experiences that are strung together, just sort of like trying to plug in our individual talents. In this particular project, I'm excavating the future of artificial intelligence and what that means to society and like what responsibilities we have. It's essentially just a guided tour through the space. My project for this class was to do kind of like experimental with music. And I want to experiment with really implement the whole 360 room scale environment. How other applications like Audio Shield, I want to play with how that works in a room scale environment. My senior thesis project, it's a virtual musical called Land Grab the Musical. There's four different environments, the point of interest that allows you to step into it, and as you look at it, the song starts to unfold, whether the cowboy turns into six and has a little dance party with a hip hop song, or he starts to do a ballet, or this room assembles around you, something starts to happen. They found that they didn't quite know what they needed to know to be able to build their first virtual realities. It was more of like a theory class, I would say, as opposed to a technical class. So we were kind of left on our own to explore the technical side of VR. And we had got a lot of great context from people who are in it and have been in it for a while. Being able to have the capability of modeling something, having a user go into it and test it at real scale, those are things that are just incredibly valuable. Design for VR, you never know where the user themselves is going to look, and you have to account for every direction possible. The things that I learned in this class had a lot to do with the user experience. It wasn't a typical class in that there's a whole new skill set to learn. VR really helped me spatialize the 3D motion that I did before and also with music implementation to see how that really plays in your overall experience. It's in some ways really exciting because you get to see very instantaneously whether someone gets it or not. We think of it as a multi-year program. We also think that it will start to be a tool just like any other tool is used in the classroom. The fact that Art Center had the studio here is really representative of the multidisciplinary nature of the school. I'm in a class with entertainment design people, illustrators, graphic designers, and that kind of collaborative thought is really what I think Art Center excels in. It gave me and my fellow students a new tool essentially to work with to prepare ourselves for the industry. Anyone with like an idea can find a way to use VR. VR definitely is going to expand and that's going to be a very important part of my career. I think every single department can get something out of it and expand their creative endeavor in VR.